Yes, uh, we managed already to, <clears throat> to a certain extent, to diversify our economy, and now oil and gas uh, makes uh, less than a half of our GDP. But uh, our export is uh, something like 95% is oil and gas. So our main, uh, one of the main objectives is now to diversify our export. Uh, it will not be easy because, as I already said, uh, gas production and export will grow. Uh, and for other sectors of economy, exports, we need markets. Our problem is that uh, we do not have easy access to European market, market of EU, because of certain restrictions and quotas, etc. And uh, for us, <clears throat> The main market is the neighboring countries, primarily Russia, uh, is our main market for non-energy goods, and also Turkey. And in order to uh, diversify our export, it's not enough only to produce, we need to have access. But we are working on, on that. <coughs> but uh, with respect to other sectors of our economy, we have big hopes with respect to transportation, as I already said, this uh, juncture of corridors will create uh, a lot of uh, economic activity. And also we consider these transportation routes not only as a facilitation in transit, but also an opportunity to build industry on route. So we hope that uh, manufacturers from the region will come and do these projects. We now in active phase of development of the free economic zone of Alat, which uh, is already uh, accumulating the residents. So uh, we are trying to do maximum what we can in order to develop other sectors of economy, because uh, digital transformation is one of them. Uh, industrial development is now based on uh, more science-based approach, as I already said, with respect to the uh, employment and uh, fourth industrial revolution. And by the way, Davos World Economic Forum selected Azerbaijan as a regional center for, one of the regional centers for uh, Davos <coughs> World Economic Forum, fourth industrial revolution center. So this also was a sign of appreciation of what uh, we are doing. Uh, huge potential, as we already discussed, on renewables, with 157 uh, gigawatt of potential of only offshore. And uh, a lot of companies now working with us. And as I said already, we need to strengthen our grid to be able to absorb all that. So I think the future is predictable.